Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat. You're watching I again, and uh, today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Apple Watch Series 7. Now, this has just been made available in India. It's gone on sale, and it starts at around 41,900 uh, for the aluminium or aluminium variant. Uh, you can also get it in a product red and a blue color, which is really nice looking. But then you also have the stainless steel one, which we have over here. This starts at 69,900, and then you also have the titanium which is over here that starts at 83,900. So you've got quite a lot of options depending on how much money you want to spend and uh, what basic features you want to get. You also get the Apple Watch SE as well as the Apple Watch Series 3 if uh, that is something that you're interested in as well. So previous generation ones. I would recommend that you don't get the Apple Watch Series 3 if you do want to get an Apple Watch. But without any further ado, let's quickly go ahead and unbox this one and see how it's different from the Series 6 that I have on right now. We also have uh, this Nike band uh, that comes from uh, the Nike Edition watch that I'm really interested in checking out. So let's quickly get into it. So what we'll do first is we'll check out the Nike band. So the price on this is 3900 So this is 3900 at MRP. And then you have this. So if you did have a strap which was non-adjustable, uh, you would have a smaller size stuck over here. You also have a Nike logo on the back side over here. Nice. So uh, let's quickly take a look at the watch now. So I really love the way these guys package the watch. They've been doing this for a couple of years now. They've completely removed any kind of plastic from the packaging. So you just basically open it up directly. And uh, then you have the watch over here. Again, no plastic tabs, mostly paper. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, the Apple Watch and uh, some information over here. Things like setting up and charging. If you used an Apple Watch before, you already know this information. You also get a new charger, which uh, does have a USB Type-C this time around. So this supposedly charges your Apple Watch about 33% faster, which is great because I tend to usually charge my watch in the morning uh, because it does have a really nice uh, sleep tracking system. So I wear it mostly through the night, and in the morning is when I like to charge it. So with the fact that it charges 33% faster, it means that I'll no longer have to live with just 41% battery in the middle of the day. And then uh, you have the watch itself. So it still comes in this protective sleeve, but it's now made out of a paper. It appears to be some sort of soft recycled paper. Uh, unlike previous years, where it did come in a felt sort of case. And this is slightly more difficult to get out as well. So let's have that booting while we check out the included straps. So this does have uh, a little bit of plastic over here for the pull tabs. And this is more or less their universal packaging for the bands. And uh, this is a blue sport band. So this is what I was mentioning. Uh, if you do have a smaller size strap available, it's included on the bottom section over here. So this is a really nice band as well. Silicone. And simply slides on like that. And slides on like that. Kind of blends in with the table over there. So that's what the watch looks like. At first glance, it doesn't appear to be that different from uh, the Apple Watch Series 6. So if you look at it, uh, you can't really tell the difference. Uh, but what you do notice is that the screen does go all the way to the edges. So it does uh, the buttons and the menus. So let me quickly set this up with my iPhone and uh, then I'll show you what that looks like. 
Okay, so when you bring your Apple iPhone close to the Apple Watch, it'll uh, give you this pop-up. Uh, this is pretty similar for previous Apple Gen watches as well. You press continue, you say that you want to set up the Apple Watch for yourself or a family member. And uh, then uh, this should uh, give you this uh, synchronization sort of code. And then you position the watch within the code. And uh, then it'll start pairing. So I now have this synced up uh, with my phone over here. Uh, but before I get into any of that, just to give you a basic demonstration of what the differences are uh, with these uh, watches. Um, if you look at the screen, they look identical, but just in this much, uh, you can see that uh, the buttons sort of roll over to the edges, whereas in uh, my older Apple Watch, they do not. So you do have a one millimeter larger screen, so not a big difference when it comes to the exact screen size. Uh, this was 44 millimeters, this is 45 millimeters. Uh, funnily enough, uh, the smaller variant is now 41 millimeters, which is only one millimeter smaller than uh, what the original Apple Watch large size was, which was 42 millimeters. So this is uh, what the watch uh, looks like. So you do have uh, watch faces now that do sort of go around the Apple Watch. And uh, let's see if we can... So this one is called Contour. And what this does is, so if I select it, I can sort of choose a different color. I can have the dial color on or off. Let's say I get this uh, multicolored or rainbow, and then I can set my complications. So say, for example, I want date and uh, activity. So those are my complications, and uh, that's basically it. And uh, that's it. So now if I select this, what I can do with this is sort of go through the sides and elongate whatever area, uh, say, is most relevant. So right now it's a quarter to two, or actually, what? I do not know how to read the time. Right now it's a 2.05 approximately. So uh, the next six hours I can highlight so that whenever I look at the watch, I can uh, get a better view. So apart from fast charging, you do have a one millimeter larger display, but if you can notice, uh, you can still sort of see the uh, watch face, despite the fact uh, that I sort of point away from my face. Uh, that's because when it goes into this dim mode, it's actually much brighter than what the other Apple Watch is. So uh, those are primarily the differences. You get some new watch faces. Uh, you get a one millimeter larger display, which now also has uh, text and uh, things uh, going all the way to the edges, which is nice. Then you do have some uh, physical changes as well. So uh, you can see uh, that the speaker layout on the side is a little different. So earlier we had two slots, now we have a single slot. And uh, so this is, uh, this is my old watch, something that I wear on the daily. This is something that I'll be wearing from now on. So if you guys have any questions or queries, if you want me to get into a deep dive review for the Apple Watch, uh, let me know in the comment section below. This was just a quick unboxing and first look since we are already late in India for the Apple Watch. Uh, we just wanted to get into it quickly. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a part of Team Again. This has been Bharat. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.